Hello, this is Mr. W. The goal of this video is to show you how to get ready for this year's 45 minute at home computer administered all FRQ AP Bio exam on May 11th. So let's do AP Bio Review. Before we start, I just got to say, studying for the AP Bio exam is hard enough. Now we have to add a pandemic on top of that. I understand that conditions for studying for many of you might be far from ideal. I'm going to do everything I can to support you, including a question of the day series that I'm going to be starting really soon. My goal is to move you up this curve towards a four or a five. If you spend time practicing in the right way, you'll climb right to the top. I'm going to show you how. At this point in the year, you've probably responded to many FRQs, but I'm going to start with an obvious point. Read the prompt and respond to all parts of the question. Here's an example from page 208 of the College Board's course and exam description for AP Bio. I've put a link to that document below. In the question, you're asked to do four things. How do you know? The College Board has made it very easy by putting what they call task verbs in bold text. These task verbs tell you what to do. So in this question, you have to describe in Part A, then explain in Part B, then indicate using a template in Part C, and then explain in Part D. For the past three years, I've been part of a huge team of teachers that scores the FRQs on the AP Bio exams. One of the biggest ways that students lose points is by not responding to all parts of the question. Now let's talk about how and what to practice. Because this is going to involve writing, you should set up an electronic journal. You're going to have to type your responses on the AP test, so start practicing that now. I've set up an online journal for you. I'm going to call it your Biomania Learning Journal, named after the Biomania AP Bio exam preparation system on my website that we'll be using to get ready for the test. The journal is linked below. It's a Google Doc, sign into Google Docs, make your own copy, and you'll be good to go. In terms of what to practice, I've put links to everything you need in your Biomania Learning Journal. Here are the highlights. First, on the College Board's website, they have five years of past FRQs. They also have scoring guides. In your journal, I've identified which FRQs to work with because this year's exam is limited to just units one through six. Second, your AP Bio teacher will have access to more FRQs from the College Board's AP classroom. Third, as part of my Biomania AP Bio exam preparation system on sciencemusicvideos.com, I have 73 practice FRQs for units one through six. I also have 165 flashcards for these same units, and flashcards are a perfect way to study for an FRQ exam. Now let's talk about how to practice. I'm going to use the practice FRQs on sciencemusicvideos.com as an example. You can find these by clicking on the Biomania menu on sciencemusicvideos.com and then clicking FRQs. Each session, use the checkboxes on the FRQ menu to limit your questions to just units one through six. Also, set the maximum number of questions to practice to 10. Once you're ready, click Begin Practice. Take a minute and read this question. Start by thinking about what the question is asking you to do. Don't write out your answer yet. Click pause until you're ready to continue. The question is asking you to do three things, even though it's a two-part question. Predict, justify your prediction, and then in part two you're asked, how would this mutation affect differentiation of the R7 cell type? That's essentially another prediction. Now, pause the video again and type out your answer in your Biomania Learning Journal. Make sure you've covered all parts of the question, and when you're done, hit play. Now, slowly read the answer and compare it to what you wrote. If you got it right, really right, then pat yourself on the back and click got it. But if you didn't, then reread the answer. Think it through. If you can video chat with a partner, that's even better. When you're done with talking or thinking it through, click need more practice. 
The way that button works is that it tells Biomania to give you that question again later in the study session. When you see it again, write it out again as if you're seeing it for the first time and see if you can come up with a more complete answer. That's it. If you watch my flashcard video, it's the same method. Slow down and take in the feedback. In your Biomania Learning Journal, I put together a six week and 50 hour schedule that will get you to a four or a five on the AP exam. I strongly suggest that in addition to the Biomania flashcards and FRQs on sciencemusicvideos.com, you do the multiple choice questions. They're a great way of building up your content knowledge. And that's one of the most important assets that you'll need as you do these FRQs. You can do this. Life has thrown all of us a curve, but if you prepare yourself, you can hit that curve ball right out of the park. Just put the time in. By the way, you can do Biomania on my website or you can do it on the Biomania app, which is available on Apple and Android. I'm looking forward to your comments. You can do this. You're now a Biomanian, or maybe you're a Biomaniac. Let me know which one you'd prefer. My next video is gonna be a question of the day. I'll see you there. Stay safe, stay healthy, practice social distancing. Thank you. Mitosis, chromosomal ride in a pro meta anatela phase divide. You carry out scope from one cell to two. Mitosis, how cells renew.